Welcome to the channel. In this video, we are going to talk about how to clean window drain track. So this is the area where, uh, which is called window drain track. So you normally clean window glass and you just wipe this track, but there is a, a full liner underneath where all the water from rain or in winter due to condensation uh, passes through the uh, hole here and then it goes out through the whipping hole. So I'll attach the picture for the whipping hole so you will get more better idea. So now we will start cleaning this. So before we remove window drain cap cover, we need to remove the slider window. So. In this one, you, there were a few different designs, but in this model, it's the simplest. So you just need to hold the window at one place to push it up, and then you can slide the bottom out, and this piece comes up. Some models have a latch on the top here, so you can just pull it down. So it unhooks the window from the frame, and then you can remove the window as I showed you. If you see the edges of the track here, there is a hole. So this is designed in a way so that all the water that accumulates here on the track goes into the holes and then it goes underneath. So the simplest way to take it out is using an Allen key. But if you directly try to take it out with, with your hands, it will be slipping. So use a small plier and hold the Allen key like this. And then you can just put it in the corner. So if you see track is bit out so again if you do the same way it will be coming out so now with the help of the same allen key you can just put it underneath here and go slowly all the way so this will make the track come out so now i will show you pictures how it looks under the drain so you will be able to figure out that how dirty it is Now, after looking at the pictures, you may think this is not that dirty that you expected, but this was cleaned in August 2020, so this is, it's not been long, but if you haven't cleaned this at your house ever, you will find a lot more things than you see in the pictures. So now the first step is we will use a vacuum to uh, clean off the dry uh, stuff. So that will be the first step, and after that, we will, we will follow the other options. Now after the vacuum you will notice there are uh, scums and maybe a tiny uh, mildew and mold. So first I will be using a disinfectant. So I'm using Lysol so I will spray it till it's fully wet and I will leave it for 30 seconds to 1 minute. Now, as it's been one minute, so uh, this area is safe to work. So I'll be using a normal brush to, to clean off these marks. So if you see, it's easily coming off. So you can just scrub, uh, scrub it all around. Now after we brush off the scums and all the build up, so there are two ways we can clean this. You can either use paper towel to wipe it off or you can uh, throw some water in so it, it will drain. So I will be using uh, water for now. And so what happens is when you water, so at the same time, uh, all the water goes through these whipping hole and it goes out from the outside whipping hole for the window. So it, it's like a two way cleaning. Uh, but when you're using just a paper towel, it will be wiping off this, but later you have to use water to clean off the whipping uh, holes. So now I will put some water. So if you can see, so give it some time so all the water will drain. Now 
now by using paper towel you can just clean all the corners and and drain all the water that's still standing in the line so you can also use a multi-surface uh, cleaner to clean the edges of uh, the window drain so at the same time i will use the brush to uh, clean off the edges for this area as well because when there is a uh, condensation or, or ice buildup in winters right there will be some stains that build up on these corners as well so this is the right time to clean it so now as everything is clean so now I will use paper towel to final uh, clean this uh, drain You will also need to inspect your window weeping holes. So just pour some water into the window drain and if the water smoothly uh, drains, that means it's properly good. Otherwise, you can remove these uh, drain uh, weeping hole caps and clean it with a very small pin or a brush and then it will be good. Now once the uh, track is clean, now we will be cleaning the track cap as well or you can call it track cover. So just uh, a wet paper towel with disinfectant or any surface cleaner, and then just wipe it all around. So it may not go off uh, in, in first time, so you just have to do it multiple times. And once it's all clean, then we will set it up back into the track. Now once the track cover is clean, you just need to install it back. So go on the any side first, but you need to push it one, one side in first and then push the other side with your thumbs. So it will properly set inside. So now if you see, it's all properly installed back. So now we will clean the slider window. So now as we already have the slider window out, so we will use this as to clean the slider as well. So if you see there is accumulation here as well. So first I will spray some disinfectant and leave it for uh, 30 seconds to one minute and then wipe it off. So now after waiting for 30 seconds, I'm wiping this off. Now also on the other side of the slider, so I just turned it upside down, if you see there were these tracks. And with time, if there is some rust buildup, slider may stop working. So if you see this properly turns, but this one is stuck. So you can try using uh, WD-40 to uh, fix this one. I will try that now. If that doesn't work, then you can replace the track as well. So you can get it from hardware store and replace it so your window slider works properly. So we will try WD-40 for, for a few minutes now. So now I left WD-40 on these track wheels for more than 30 minutes. So the two on the back were uh, like stuck. So now after 30 minutes of WD-40, this one properly works, but the other one is still stuck. So I have to replace that one, but I'm good with this. So I'll buy this uh, later and then replace on the window. So you can, uh, when you're cleaning it, you can double check all your windows as well. And then you can buy the new wheels. So now we will reinstall the uh, slider onto the window. So now to install window back, we'll just do the same steps as we did in the, uh, to remove it, but in an opposite way. So first, you need to slide the window in, side the track on the top, then keep it and hold it from the bottom, properly push it, and then you can put it inside the track. So now you can slide it a few times to see if it's properly working, and it's good to go. And now you can repeat this step on all your slider windows, if this video helped you to clean your windows properly, please consider subscribing to the channel and like the video. Thank you.